What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video today. We're going to be speaking about Manchester City signing a player. But before we crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and you want to help support my channel, then make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I am aiming for 7,000 subscribers and at the moment, at this time of recording, we're now less than 800 subscribers away. So any help towards that will be much appreciated. We'll be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates, by the way, when the transfer window does open and we had word yesterday on Sky Sports, it's been reported that could well come in August, running until October. So we've got plenty of content, so make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'll keep you in the loop with everything happening with the latest Manchester City news and transfer news. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find my email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries in particular for them daily Manchester City transfer updates. Don't forget also leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget let me know your thoughts on these transfers in the comments below. So, so, high energy, Manchester City are getting linked with players, we've signed a player, there's lots to talk about, so let's get right into this video. So we're first up going to be speaking about Ben Chilwell. Now, it was my understanding that Chelsea are very keen, they still are, on Ben Chilwell. It's been reported that Leicester want as high as £80 million pounds for him um, and Chelsea were believed to actually be willing to pay somewhere close to that because they were apparently closing in on signing him. However, the Telegraph have been reported that Manchester City are interested in bringing in Ben Chilwell this summer. Pep Guardiola likes Ben Chilwell and he's interested. He wants him to become a Manchester City player. The problem that we've got £80 million. Pounds. City will not spend £80 million pounds on a left-back. Bring that fee down, 50 towards £60 million, pound, potentially, I can see City doing that. He's homegrown, so it solves a problem for Manchester City. He's a decent left-back as well, so it solves another problem for Manchester City. And if the rumours are to be believed that Oleksandr Zinchenko for next season will be utilised more in midfield, so potentially we might not even replace David Silva with that news, it means City do definitely need a left-back to compete with Benjamin Mendy, which is why we're getting linked with Ben Chilwell. And it means we can, if we're not going to sign a central midfielder, potentially spend a little bit more money. Now, City, we like to, in the transfer market, not be ripped off. We don't like bidding wars, so Chelsea being interested in Ben Chilwell means Leicester can get a bidding war. So, uh, I'm leaning towards potentially that not happening, but City's name is being chucked out there. And City, according to Sky Sports News as well, uh, are also reporting that City are willing to challenge Chelsea to sign Ben Chilwell. This is very interesting, and I'm going to keep you up to date with this deal uh, every step of the way. Now... We had something similar last summer with Harry Maguire. The fee got too high, City pulled out. We were willing to go towards 60 to £70 million pound for Harry Maguire, so I imagine the £50, £60 million pound would be about right what City are targeting for Ben Chilwell. It's just if Chelsea are willing to pay more, they will get their man. If they're not, Ben Chilwell could have a choice. Chelsea or Manchester City. I feel like things would start to then hinge on Champions League football and what's going on with Cass at this moment in time. Manchester City have got their hearing with Cass, um, but we're not expected to find out uh, more about that and the results of that until July, August, perhaps even onwards, no time soon. So uh, we're waiting for the conclusion of the Premier League season before City do any business, but City will want things in the pipeline for things to get going into August. And so they're going to have to start getting to work on transfers right now as we speak, which is why we're being linked with Ben Chilwell. That update, extremely interesting. I'm sure I'll have more updates throughout the next few videos on Manchester City's transfer updates. Now, Man City have signed a player. This is interesting as well. He's called Mickey Van Sars. He's a new name alert. We've not been linked previously. He was getting linked a couple of days ago. He's a goalkeeper, played not plays, played for FC Utrecht under-16s team and also was in the Netherlands youth team too. Manchester City were being reported they're going to sign him for a small fee. We've beaten Manchester United, Barcelona and Ajax to his signature. This was being reported by De Telegraph over in the Netherlands. It's a news source agent. Um, I wasn't too sure how reliable they are. 
I have my answer. Very reliable, especially with this transfer, because it has been announced that Manchester City, according to FC Utrecht, so of course City, it's official this, have signed uh, Mickey Van Saas, the goalkeeper, for our academy as of this summer. So... Welcome, Mickey, to Manchester City. It's our first signing of the summer. I was said a pre in a previous video, I was interested in what young players City are going to bring in. So it seems looking at goalkeepers. I find that really interesting. I wanted to wish Mickey the best of luck in uh, joining Manchester City, moving to England. Uh, and I wish him all the very best uh, at our club. And hopefully, at some point, we'll be able to see him in a City shirt representing the first team. If, of course, he is going to be quality, which... I'm sure City paying a small fee for a player that is under 16, that he will. He's got plenty of potential there, lots of big names being linked. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he is capable of. Now, moving on to the outs, we've got an update on David Silva. Of course, he's going to be leaving Manchester City this summer. Uh, I'm expecting him to uh, at least have an extended contract until the end of the season, which will run into July and possibly into August too. But from after that, after the conclusion of the Champions League, which will more than likely be the last thing that happens uh, for this current 2019-2020 season, David Silva is then free to leave Manchester City, of course, and he is free to talk to other clubs right now. And he's been linked with Doha-based club Al Dahali in Qatar, who apparently have offered David Silva a luxurious deal for him to go and join them, according to the Daily Mirror. It'll be interesting to see where David Silva ends up. I imagine he's got an array of offers out there for him to choose from. Uh, will he go to a club and try and get his last big payday? Will he go back home? Will he go to a club that's going to allow him to raise his child, of course? Lots of things for him to consider. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. And I won't blame him if he picked any of them three, whatever his decision is. I'm sure it'll be the best for what David Silva and his family are wanting. Now we've got an update on Fiseo or Fiseo, is that how you say his name? Fiseo Deli Bashuru. Um, now he's got one year left on his contract at Manchester City. He's been offered a four-year extension at Manchester City. Uh, apparently, though, he's considering all of his options. That's according to Sky Sports News. He has offers, interestingly, from clubs in the championship. So I find that interesting. Now, moving on to our last story of the video, comes from C.com over in Spain, are reporting that Manchester City's young striker, Charlie McNeil, he's agreed to leave Manchester City to join Red Bull Leipzig in Germany. He had interest from Juventus too. Man City are losing a quality striker. We've got uh, Charlie McNeil, obviously, and Liam Delap, who were both scoring an uh, array amount of goals for Manchester City in our academy. We're losing another quality young player, though. And so, for that, it makes me really sad. It was being reported that he scored over 600 goals uh, for Manchester City's academy team for the whole time that he's been here, which is an huge amount of goals and so he is a, a, a player a young player that definitely knows how to find the back of the net he's a quality young striker getting interest from Leipzig from Juventus he's a Champions League football team he is a good quality young player and I'm sure he'll get uh, an array of opportunities and, um, and uh, for him to be able to excel uh, and so if that is true and he is joining Red Bull Leipzig and go wish him all the best of luck but from a personal point of view and a city point of view I'm sad to be losing such a top quality young player they're adding up these young quality players leaving Manchester City but when you've got an academy like Manchester City and you're producing such wonderful football players not all of them will stay at Manchester City and that's just how it is of course it's for me to speak another video about young players being produced at Manchester City and being utilized by Manchester City but that isn't for this video so there we go that has been the video an interesting one Ben Chilwell we brought in a new goalkeeper young quality players leaving Manchester City in Delhi Bashuru and McNeil David Silva having a luxurious offer in Qatar this is an interesting update uh, I'll be distributing content when there is news if that means it's coming in a daily source I'll be doing it daily. If it's coming every few days, I'll be doing them every few days. So just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Press that red button to put your notifications on so you've been kept in the loop ASAP as soon as I have Manchester City news and transfer news. Uh, but yeah, that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Social media links in the description below along with my email if you want to go follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos uh, or any general business inquiries. You can find all them links in the description below and I'll see you all again for the next video. So I've been JSGC. Hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope you're staying safe and well too. Peace. Ciao for now.